Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, it's Christmas tree time, so we head out to Pioneer Trails, and I make a seasonal favorite, Butterfly Smelts. But first, there's a book, ornament, and a song, all because Joe Dragovich loves Christmas. Well, the Arms Museum at Christmas time is really one of my favorite places to be. I come here numerous times and take many guests. And director of the Mahoning Valley Historical Society is Bill Lawson. And Bill, this really is one of the biggest fundraisers you have for the society. It is. Well, it's our favorite time of the year. We have thousands of people here every year. And as far as earned income through admissions and store sales, this, this is a very significant part of our budget. Well, Anthony is the head elf here at the Arms Museum. And every year, you knock it out of the park. And I absolutely love the sitting room. We are right here in the mid-century modern, the 70s. I mean, we had this tree when I was a little girl, and I thought we had the sexiest <laughs> tree on the street, man. And I love the furniture. How do you find all these treasures? Well, it's a, a, a year in planning. Like I have mentioned this before, it's a year to plan this exhibit to bring it to about nine weeks. And I antique, go to garage sales, do estate sales, and this furniture we're sitting on right now actually came out of a home on the west side. It was, they were still using it, and uh, we were you know, lucky to be fortunate to have it to pull off this room, which is it a mid-century room, you know, 50s with the uh, Evergreen pom-pom tree and the color wheel we are used to seeing a color wheel that I've old. never seen one this is that a base. is underneath. Exactly, yes. Well, the upstairs hallway here at the Arms Museum is dedicated to all the drawings and the works that are behind the scenes for The Empty Hook. And this really is a beautiful book, Joe. It Thank is. You. I mean, the, the illustrations are great. The characters, you, you must be really proud of this. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very proud of the book and, and everything that it's um, that's generated off of it. The ornaments, the song, uh, it's just all, all neat. And, yes, another local connection is Mary Jo Meluso and Rick Blackson. They have written a book, or a song rather, it, that goes along with the feelings they got from reading this book. Right, we, you know, we had, had the lyrics and I handed them off to Rick. He tweaked them and knowing Mary Jo's voice and he composed the uh, the music, and uh, it's it's a really really pretty Christmas song. It is, and we are going to go and have them actually perform it. So this is all exciting. The detail on each and every one of your characters for the ornament are they're beautiful. Yeah, and if you were to look at the the book and look at the ornament, the ornaments will look like they stepped right off the page. They are that spot on, and uh, Jingle Nog makes the ornaments uh, for me. Uh, Jingle Nog is up in New York, and she does great work with ornaments. And uh, the, but uh, she makes them old. We critique them old. We go back and forth through that process. Got to yes. do this. Got to do that. And uh, my illustrator is involved in that process. And then uh, that mold's created, shipped off to Poland. Glass magic, paint, and glitter. And then this is this is the result. They're beautiful. They're limited edition. They are available in the Arms gift, gift shop. shop. Yes. Each crib. Christmas Day, you'll hear me say to everyone I meet along the way. How did you get this team to record that song? It, you wrote the lyrics? I put the lyrics together and then Rick, after we got together, worked magic with them. Um, but the story on how, <laughs> it's funny. Um, uh, Sharon and I were at dinner at El Barini's. Yes. And these two were singing. That was the original yes. one, Adam Niles. The original yeah, yeah. one, Richard yeah. And Richard, Richard and Chucky. And so after I after I finished with, with the book, and I and you know in the back of my head I said every good Christmas story has a good Christmas song. That's right. They they complement each other. So then I put those lyrics together, 
and then I got I got, got up the courage to reach out to Mary Jo on Facebook with the opening line, I am not a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. So he brought you the lyrics, and then you absolutely came up with the melody. and, and then it Sort of like that. We had a meeting, and uh, I found out, and I looked, and he showed me pictures that he had from this book, illustrations. Oh. Oh. And I said, whoa, this guy means business, because these illustrations were like, beautiful. you know, they're beautiful. Remember how shepherds watched their flocks by night. Remember the wise men guided by the light to the one whose life was a gift so bright. He lights the path throughout. So uh, he said, I have an idea for a song. I have some, uh, some an idea for a lyrics, but I'm not a songwriter. I don't know what I'm going to do about a song. I said, well, I happen to be a songwriter. So if you want my wife to sing it, maybe I could uh, come up with some ideas. So I took his lyrics and then crafted them, you know, to make them musical and then put together a, 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 a song that I thought I wanted it to be like a traditional Christmas song. So when people would hear it for the first time, they would get, almost get the impression that it's like, well, I kind of remember this, but not really. And it's available. On iTunes. iTunes, yes. Right. That's right. You could buy a song that is really originated in Youngstown by Youngstown people. So go to iTunes. It's Remember Him on, on His, his day. day. Mary Jo Meluso. Mary Jo Meluso. On His Day. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And Rudy, you really take eat, drink, celebrate seriously. Yes, we do, Casey. Not only in our regular pub, but we have a banquet room, party room. We seat 25 to 150. We cater for private parties, meetings, banquets, showers, reunions, you name it, we can do it. We got you covered. Private menus, special menus, anything you need, Chef Reggie can work it out for you. I just love the idea that you have the entire room, if you need it, and a private bar. In fact, my uh, class reunion from the Academy is going to be held at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And we thank you guys for coming. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, our motto is eat, drink, celebrate. We like to specialize and help you out and do everything we can to make, you, uh, make your memories last long. Uh, stop by, they will prove it. Here's to the Magic Tree. Salute. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, 
te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. If you're looking for a great family experience when you get your Christmas tree, you should come out to Pioneer Trails Christmas Tree Farm. Mary Jan Padula is the owner, and you can go back, cut your own. This is really nice. Buggies, horse-drawn <laughs> carriages. I mean, you're really making this a nice Christmas experience. That's right. We have Pioneer Trails Tree Farm is a 50-acre Christmas tree farm, and we've been selling trees since 1990 and it's gotten progressively bigger every year but we do offer the horse-drawn wagon rides for three weekends in december that's that, that i can't wait to do that we've got clydesdales out here and now what exactly do you grow on the farm yourself well we have eight different varieties so we basically cover your pines scotch pine austrian pine fir we have the douglas fir the Fraser fir, and then the Canaan fir is really popular. Yes. And then we have traditional blue spruce, Norway spruce, and white spruce. Wow, I mean, you are busy. And I think it's such an interesting backstory. We were talking earlier, your husband, his family had tree farms, and so did yours. Well, <laughs> well, it was my father started a tree farm back in the 1950s in Ashtabula County. And Frank's family had the property here in Poland, Ohio. Uh huh. He, he raised potatoes at one time. But we have trees here up to 12 foot tall. And then when the people go out to choose it, it's one price, any tree. You can cut a five footer, you can cut a 12 footer, and it doesn't matter what variety it is. Adam Farley is a long time worker here. And I really don't want that true tree experience. <laughs> will you cut down the tree for me? I will, yes. I'm a girl about this. So Adam, I love this one. This is a Canaan fir. Look at it, it's nice and tall, and this will be perfect. It won't get too fat in my house. So show me your expertise. What is the first thing I need to do? Uh, well, we have these carpet squares. Okay. Gotta go down on them, and then we provide you saws. Alrighty. You need my help, I'm sure you do. And uh, okay. Then... Wow. Now, how tall do you think this one is? About an eight footer? Um, probably seven, eight foot, yeah. Perfect. And it smells amazing. Amazing. Okay, Bill. Get out of my way, I'm coming through. I tell you, Ken's getting off easy this year. All right, now we're gonna get shaken up. And then they twine it for me. What's that called, Adam? Uh, shaking. Shaking and then, and bailing. And bailing. Now the entire Padula family, who's running the show now that we're all going off on a uh, horse-drawn carriage ride? We got, it under, we got it under control. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We got a lot of good workers. Yeah. Danny Hunt. I told everybody to go crazy while we were out in the woods. <laughs> so do you, do you like working, you know, in the family biz? It's great, it's great. I love it. Okay, Charles is at the farm full time. Oh, you are? You're yeah. a full-time farmer? Yes. And what do you do, Amy? Um, I'm a tax accountant. Are you? Yes. Ooh, one of them. So that's why I'm in charge of the money. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Matthew? Uh, I work in Columbus, insurance. It's a big insurance town, so. Uh, and then you just come up on the weekends? Oh, yeah, yeah, help out when I can. Yeah, we're both in Columbus, so. Stacy and Dawn Cannon, and you're from Western Pennsylvania? Yes, Hermitage, and PA. Hermitage, and they breed and raise the Clydesdales, they're amazing, amazing animals. How many do you have right now? Uh, 10, plus these three, so 13. And then have any of your horses ever been used in like the Budweiser commercials or anything? No, no, <laughs> sorry, no. <laughs> How do, so when you show them, what are they looking for? Like what makes a, a good breed of Clydesdale? They're looking at confirmation, size of the foot, um, hawk action, front leg action, knee action, flat knee. And your souvenir when you buy a tree out here at Pioneer Trails, you get the wooden dollar, That's not right. the wooden nickel. <laughs> so this year, now tell me about this. Well, we started this in 1990, the first year we opened, and every year we put a different historical event on a wooden dollar. So this year we're commemorating the 150th anniversary of the Salvation Army, and everybody who purchases a tree 
gets a one dollar. So some people take it home and they use it as an ornament. Yeah. And then other people bring it back the following year and you can get a dollar off your tree if you redeem it the following year at your tree purchase. Oh, that is a good idea. That is really nice, see? Savings too. Now, your open daylight hours, uh, what is your weekday hours? Weekdays, it's 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. And it gets kind of dark there around 5, so we tell people you need to get here at least yeah. by 5 if you want to cut a tree through the week. And then weekends, it's 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. And then, like I said, we said the horses are here for three weekends. And daily, the days they're here, it's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then what day are we, what, what day is the family taking some time off? When is the Padula family <laughs> going to close down and enjoy the okay, Christmas we, holiday? We stay open till December 22nd. All righty. All well, right. this has been a really good time. And this is a nice family activity we can all enjoy. Donuts, hot cocoa. I'm going to go get some right now. And uh, thank you, Mary Jan. All right, thank I you. appreciate the invitation. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley's own Pebblestone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. The perfect gift, Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, the best food in the valley. For every $50 you spend on gift cards, you get a free $10 bonus card. Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, Route 224 in Boardman, and their new location on Route 46 in Howland. There's a new standard in assisted living. One that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location.
When you walk into Kamara Jewelers now, it's a completely different look. But it's also the same comfortable feeling that you get when you come in. There's more beautiful jewelry, more different designers to show you. You can really see how much we love our job and the, everything that we're able to offer to our customers. So come to Kamara Jewelers, still the same people, same family ethics, 70 years, just a brand new look. You won't be disappointed. Get real, get Kamara. You are going to love this cooking segment. One of my favorite things is the butterfly fried smelts. I absolutely love them. I always call them Newcastle smelts. Because when I'd go to restaurants in Newcastle like Pegley's or the Crane Room or Medora's, they're light, they're opened up. They're almost like eating a potato chip. And I saw some smelts and I bought the bag. They're cleaned, heads off, and I tried to make them at home and they just didn't taste right. So I was discussing this with my friend Anna from La Rocca's, and she says, well, you have to remove that spine. Lights go on, and I figured out that secret. So I've been removing the spine, and boy, are these delicious. For this recipe, you'll need one pound bag of frozen clean smelts, two eggs beaten with one eighth cup of water, one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of cornmeal, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, optional, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, canola or peanut oil for frying, one gallon size storage bag, a half cup of fresh chopped parsley for garnish, and lemon wedges. What we'll do is start with a fork. Now you take the back, it's already partially opened, and then I just fling it open all the way with the fork. And then beginning at the fatter part where the head was, you just use the fork tine to take it and strip out that spine. See, right there. And then I just lay them on a paper towel to dry. So now that we've gotten the bones out of there, uh, the easiest way to do it is almost shake and bake style. I just get a bigger bag, and I like the fine cornmeal. So use a cup of that, cup of flour, then I'm going to use, now I like a little spice, so I put some of my Slap Your Mama in. You do not have to do that if you don't want any spice. But I do like the taste of the garlic, so I'm using garlic powder. And then, oh, about a half teaspoon or so of salt. You can always add more when they come out of the fryer. And then, of course, you know me, I love my fresh ground pepper. So now, we just take that and shake it all up to get it mixed thoroughly. You can add milk if you'd like, but I think just a little bit of water to the egg wash and just make sure you beat it really well so it's real light and airy. See all the bubbles? You just want that really foamy. Okay. Now, I usually do this about 10 at a time, a dozen at a time. And then I just drop them right there in the wash. And let them soak around there a little bit. Do, 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 do. And then pull them out one at a time. Try to leave them open, let them drip. And then you just drop them right in the bag. I mean, it's a little messy, not that messy. We'll do it that way. My hands, ugh. All right, and then you just go. And use the finer cornmeal, because it sticks a little better. There you go. Now we'll take them out. And you open them up. See, and they're all covered nicely. And you just lay them right back down on another paper towel. You do go through quite a few paper towels here. But make sure that both sides, they didn't close up and they get all the good stuff on them. I'm gonna use canola oil to fry this, but peanut oil works well too. 
and you want the oil temperature to be about 160 to 175. And if you don't have a thermometer to measure the heat, you can also use a wooden spoon and just stick it in. And when you see the bubbles form, that means you have temperature. Good enough for frying. So now we have our oil ready to go. I like to start with the skin side down. So there we go. Throw these in. They're only going to be about two minutes on this side and about a minute on the other side. These cook very quickly. You don't want to crowd them. And the minute you see them start to brown, we'll flip them. Restaurant quality smelts and they were super easy. I absolutely love these. Lemon, a little bit of parsley on top, and you are good to go. And you know what else I like for a little more heat? I like the green Tabasco sauce. And uh, I put that on a little bit of mine. And I just think it makes them that much more fun. Now remember, if you don't want the uh, hot sauce, you don't have to add it. Mm. These are delicious. And with smelts, I think a nice cold beer is in order as a pairing. I'm using the uh, Modelo Especial. I really like the Mexican beers. And this is perfect palate cleanser to wash down those delicious smelts. Mm. If you need the recipe, just go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com for the fried butterfly smelts. You are going to love them as much as I do. Mm. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.